brakes never catch a break. They have to work in all conditions, from sub-zero arctic mornings to scorching desert afternoons. The front brakes on many front-wheel drive cars and trucks can easily reach several hundred degrees with normal braking and get even hotter under certain circumstances. Riding the brakes in heavy stop-and-go traffic, mountain driving, aggressive driving, towing a trailer or hauling a heavier-than-normal load can all increase the load on the brakes and the operating temperature of critical brake components. At these elevated temperatures, most chassis or general purpose greases intended for ball joints and wheel bearings can't take the heat and will either melt or burn off, leaving surfaces unprotected and unlubricated. Worse yet, the grease may contaminate the brake linings if it melts and runs off the calipers or drum hardware. That's why high temperature specific brake lubricants work best for brake system applications. Brake lubricants are specially formulated products that are designed exclusively for brake applications and nothing else. The chemicals in these products are compatible with all commonly used materials in brake systems. There are two basic categories of brake lubricants. First, there are lubricants that are designed to lubricate the guide pins and slides. These lubricants are contained inside boots and caps to keep a floating caliper moving freely. They may look like grease, but they are synthetic and might have lithium, silicone, or ceramic listed in the ingredients. These lubricants are also compatible with rubber, so they won't damage boots and bushings. The other category is boundary layer lubricants. These lubricants can be used in areas where two metal surfaces move against each other, including brake pad ears, abutment clips, and shims. These lubricants have high solid content and typically contain a variety of friction-reducing ingredients. These are often called anti-seize lubricants. Versatile boundary layer of lubricants can handle high temperatures and pressures. Some of these products are rated to withstand intermittent temperatures as high as 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. The main advantage of these lubricants is that they will not be easily washed away by water or attract debris. Some products can be used for both slides and exposed surfaces. Keeping the brake parts moving prevents noise. When a brake pad is applied to a rotor, it creates a vibration. That thin layer of lubricant between a brake pad and caliper or bracket can prevent that vibration from transferring to the caliper, knuckle, or strut. If vibration is transferred, it changes in frequency due to the different masses of the components. The change in the frequency of the vibration could cause noise in the range of human hearing. This is called force-coupled excitation by engineers. Here are some simple tips you can share with your customers for making the most of any brake lubricant. First, always read the directions on the side of the bottle or tube. Never use excessive amounts of a product. Too much grease inside a slide boot could cause brake drag as the grease heats up and expands. Also, too much lubricant could cause contamination of the braking surfaces. Use the product designed for the application. As every technician should know, many petroleum-based products are not compatible with the seal materials that are commonly used inside brake systems. Petroleum-based grease or oil should never come into contact with the rubber seals, pistons, or other internal parts in a master cylinder, brake caliper, or wheel cylinder. If it does, the entire brake system should be considered contaminated. Why? Because petroleum-based products can cause incompatible seal materials to swell, rupture, and leak, which could lead to fluid loss and brake failure. Help stop the vehicle by starting the brake job with the right lubricants. Thanks for watching.